Welcome back to M Hood Fishing, everybody. Look where we're at. I'm with my good friend Jared. It's the Mississippi River. We're near Fort Jackson. This looks like a really good. Oh my goodness! Look at that. It seems like there's some mullet here. Now I've never fished this spot, but I've always wanted to. I've fished real close to it. We're not far from the spot where I've been catching donkeys. We're real close to that. We chose this spot because of Jared. He's got just 10 foot rods and the spot down the way that we have been fishing has a, oh, there's a lot of mullet here. That spot has a really evil drop off and 10 foot rods don't seem to fare real well. So we've tried this, we come to try this spot. Oh, was that a skipjack? I tell you what I'm about to do. I want to get out of my lines before I start to try and catch mullet. So I have some mullet that I vacuum sealed that I brought down and I pulled out of the freezer and that's on an ADOT. 50 pound is the leader, 80 pound is the braid and three ounces of the lead. Using my 12 footers, both rigs are the same. So look at that mullet. Does that look pretty good? Doesn't look great to me. It doesn't look absolutely horrible. It's only been in the freezer for three weeks maybe and it was vacuum sealed i think it's going to work but it is a little soft after putting both rods out i can tell you for sure that this is not deep water nowhere near as deep as the other spot that i usually fish down this way but I have fished close to here, a little further down, where it's similar to this. It's shallow water. Now, we're not like fishing in two feet of water out there. It's a lot deeper than that. But down the way where I fished in more shallow water like this here today, I did catch nice fish. And I'll tell you why I think that's going to happen here. If you look out here, oh, like right there, you see that? There's a lot of bait. A lot of bait. There's mullet. There's shad, there's something chasing the shad. There's a lot going on. Homeboy's already had his two rods get hit by something small. So I think if we sit here for a while, that something's gonna happen. Now, you can always judge how deep the water is by the angle of your line. See how that's not like a really steep grade, if you can see my line? I'd say we're in at least 20 feet of water out there. there he might be here there he is not very big whatever it is oh man he was coming in on me racing like oh and damn it not there he came off I wonder if that was even a catfish he was racing unlike a cat it's very possible that that was not a catfish. We are really far down river. Let me come closer so you can hear. Yeah, this bait is all tore up. Look at this, guys. Look how tore up that is. We're really far down river, and this water has a higher salt content to it than most places on the river. I've already tasted the water. and possibility of some interesting catches is there today. Yeah. yeah. Oh, he's running hard to the right here. I wonder what this is. You need a net. He's all the way over here out of camera, guys. Hey, that's, a, that's a shark. Is it that's a shark? A shark. No way. That is a shark. 
Some really. That is a shark. It's a shark. That's a black tip shark. It's a black tip. Shark. Shark. Woo hoo! Hold on, guys. Let me take you with me. He's having some real trouble here. It's look at that. Is that shark? Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Look at that. Look at that pretty shark. I finally did it. I got a shark out of the Mississippi River. Yeah, you're right. Whoa. Look at this, guys. I don't watch Shark Week, so I have no idea. Black tip or bull. It's got black tips, it's full of sand. He's got a big one on right now. Oh, it's not even Shark Week and we're getting sharks out of the river. While he's playing this big fish, guys, I'm gonna let this one go. Oh, that's a shark. Oh, it's bigger than the first one. Oh yeah, Jared. Look at that. Oh. How was that? That was awesome. That was awesome. He bent your, uh, he bent your state. Oh yeah. Oh, that was on my rod. Yeah. It was going in the water. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> All right, guys. So that was caught on my ugly stick. Jared grabbed it because I was dealing with the smaller shark. And yeah, it bent the uh, the rod holder. It's really easy to do that. Shark are really powerful. So that was on a mullet head, frozen mullet head. I'm going to deal with this real quick and we're going to let it go. It's not big enough to keep anyway. And again, I think bull shark because bull shark is the most likely one in the, to be in the river. Jared thinks black tip. We'll see who's right. There he goes. Well, I had to hang out with him, watch him do figure eights and just kind of hang out. Now he's headed out. Yeah, you're right. Next round of shark bait, frozen mullet. We're gonna put out a head and we're gonna put out this body piece. This mullet is gonna be trashed by the end of the day. It's already getting there, but man, whew, more about how I'm feeling here in a second. Have you stopped shaking yet? Not yet. <laughs> Yeah, that was the first time Jared had ever caught a shark. I've caught them before. Man, I'm still, I'm excited. I'm really happy. So I've been wanting to get shark out of the Mississippi River for a long time. I've been hoping for it. I've been coming down here because I've always thought it was really likely to happen here because we're so close to the Gulf. Whew. I did not expect it today. But I tell you what, in the back of my mind with that first little one that came in, I was thinking this isn't. This isn't a catfish, it's running more like a redfish. And it turned out to be a little shark. Historically, the furthest north that shark, bull shark that is, that have been caught out of the river is up in Illinois. That was a long time ago. Now they have been more recently caught 
up in northern Louisiana and a little further up from there in the last 20 years. Wow. We're probably going to get some more. It'd be nice if we get cats too, but this is this going to be a catfish video. Who knows? Oh, oh, oh dude. Oh, we got us a donkey here. This is on that mullet head. Oh, he has got his head down. Oh. I keep looking over my shoulder, people, at the other rods. Jared is all the way down at the end. We got two rods in the middle of us. Oh. Jared is fishing skipjack and I'm fishing mullet and he's had a couple bites on the skipjack But man, I'm getting the heavy boy the big boy hits here You think I got a cat? No, dude that Excuse me, I'm sorry. Yeah, there was some other fish just broke the water. It's probably a Jared thinks he saw a cat break the water to the left of me. This, this fish is probably big because it was taking drag. I had him close to the surface and he went, he put his head back down. At the moment, I just feel like I'm dragging in a sack of potatoes. Oh no, he, no, he, he turned the power on a little bit. A little low power but he turned some power on he put the he put his big toe on the pedal there oh geez he's giving this beef stick a workout what is it last rod the ugly sticks going off Am I into my ugly stick line? Is that what's up? Oh, oh! Oh my god! Oh! What is that? That is big! <laughs> oh, that is something big! Come under. Am I, am I in that line? Yeah, you're, un, you're under. You're not in. Okay, I'm not tangled up. Good. No spaghetti. Oh my goodness! What is that? What is that? Be What do we have here, Jared? This is a gar. Is it? Yeah, it's a big gar. Oh. Oh my God. I, you got your rope? No. <sighs> go look in my bag. I mean, do, do we need the rope for it? Yeah, go get, look in the bag, look in the small pocket, look in the front. I should have my gar rope in there, I think. The black cord. Hey. What? Not... Black. That's look for the. Cord Put that on the side and look for the black. See if I have it. I might not. Him? Did you look in the big pocket? Yes, sir. I didn't look inside. You, you look in the big pocket, the big where the tackle box comes out of?
You found it? Y'all had it tied to the light. Yeah, just take it off the light. I knew I had it. Bring it to me and take over the rod. Yes, sir. This is probably a PB gar for me. Bring him in. Keep keep the line tight. a big fish damn oh. I tell you what he lasted a long time before he bit through that 50 pound mono that was a big fish yes yeah, sir that was a big fish oh, let's keep going oh what a day it is <laughs> hey hey man we were about to change the battery too we got about 20 percent of a battery Oh, there might not be. Oh, here he is. Here he is. Or no, is he here? Or is he swimming in? He's swimming in on me. Oh, there he is. Oh, I got to keep up with this fish. He's coming in fast. This is a, a body piece of mullet. I think it's another little shark. Yeah. Well, these sharks love that frozen mullet. It's vacuum sealed mullet, so it's a little fresher than normal frozen mullet. This is the smallest one of the day. Third shark of the day. Not very big, but there are bigger out there, man. It's a lot of fun. I'm really happy that this is happening today. It's not just one, three shark. There must be a lot. If there's three that we've caught, you know there's a lot more out there. <laughs> you try to come at me. <laughs> you just say coyotes? <laughs> that is not no coyotes. <laughs> Something's at it. Look at it. That could be a crab, but that's a mullet head, so it's not too much to worry about if a crab is at it. But any second, whoosh, we could have that tip go over. Here it goes. Oh, he's already up on the surface too. Oh yeah. Well, he's beaver telling like crazy. This might be a cat, Jared. Yeah. Oh, 
Oh, I thought maybe these people were coming down to fish. Oh yeah, look at them run. It's not gonna weigh a lot, but it's a, a nice fish. What is it? It's another gar? Is he big? Is he small enough to fit in that net? Might be. <laughs> That's a news. Uh, I'm gonna need the rope, right? You want me to put the rope on it? I got him. At least halfway. I got him secured. There you go. You got him. Finally. Nice. Definitely 30, 35 pounds. We're not going to bother weighing this fish. Really good fight. Huh. Huh. Where's your big brother at? All right. Man, I was about to release this gar. Looks like I might have to catch another fish before I do that. Well, yeah. We'll just have to keep an eye on that. Let's go ahead and try and get this gar back in the water. Worst come to worst, Jared can have that fish. We're getting at that time of the day where things are going to be golden. The bite has slowed down, but sunset is right on top of us. Don't roll. Don't you do it. Don't you do it. You got it. Look at that, guys. Isn't that awesome? So we still have our lines out, but I'm going to do the outro right here. And if anything amazing happens, it's going to be before this and it's going to be darker, right? This day has just been absolute fire. I know not, not tons of fish, but so awesome. First time for Jared ever to get a shark. My first time getting sharks out of the Mississippi River. A lot of other exciting action. Just amazing. Catching a shark out of the river is a special experience. Let me tell you, one worth, one worth going out to achieve. And I've, that's what I've been doing this whole time coming down here. This is what I wanted to do. Sharks in the river. There we go. Thanks for watching and subscribing. We will see you next time.